my name is Akbar Khan. I'm one of the private investigators and interpreters that worked on the Mr. Swirly case. The potential for him to get released is, is absolutely shocking and extremely sad. If, if I was a Canadian citizen, I would be extremely concerned. Neil made child porn that he uploaded to the internet. And perhaps Canadians are not aware of the meaning of child porn. But we are talking about children that look as if they are four, five years old, boys and girls. And he wasn't just taking one at a time, he was taking many at a time. He was also creating a sort of cult status for himself within the expatriate community of pedophiles. He admitted himself uh, after being caught accessing child porn in Canada after he was released which shows that he didn't learn anything from the Thai prison. The Canadian media have also told us that he's been teaching other pedos how to access the deep web, access uh, child pornography and possibly child prostitutes. I have seen people give up their life of drug dealing and go into other businesses and occasionally I have seen people give up drugs and very often drug addicts would like to give up if they could, uh, quite sincerely from their heart. I, I cannot say the same for pedophiles. It seems to be something that once is manifested to that great extent is something that stays with them till they die. In my eyes, Canada is considering to release a pedophile who almost admits that he's still a pedophile if you listen to him carefully. Uh, when asked if he would stop, he didn't say he would stop. He said to the Canadian media, I will try. Which, yes, uh, try is the operative word. And that shows that he is still a pedophile.